Hello there. I'm Artistic Gamer Seven, of course. So, uh, just uh, I'm gonna start this off just by saying I have been recording for a good 15, 20 minutes already. And just realized my mic has been muted this whole entire time. <laughs> so that's the start off. I haven't had a good night. The reason why I don't have a webcam for this video also is because when I went to go eat supper, which I was going to eat supper and then record this video, I ended up spilling part of my supper on me and had to go take a shower. So my hair is still super wet because I'm trying not to blow dry it or straighten it much at all. Particul definitely not straighten it, but even blow drying it, I'm trying not to do that too often. So my hair's still wet, because it takes forever for my hair to dry naturally. So I was like, okay, I'll just cut the webcam out. And you know, I was talking, and there were some points at the very beginning that I was super excited about, and I planned exactly when I was going to start the video, right before Umbreon got home from work. <laughs> and I just happened to look up to my mic and seen that the little button was flashing, which means it's muted. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So, catch up time. <laughs> the toddlers are a mess. <laughs> We're trying to get them sorted out. How has seen how has abandoned us and has just decided to go take a nap on his bed instead of actually going to sleep. But I went and sold things in their inventory which included like some art artifacts that were from Selva Dorado that was already didn't need to be authenticated or anything. Yes, we could have been nice and give them to our sister, Espeon, but who is collecting them. But she is sort of trying to collect them on her own. So just handing them over to her would take out that excitement of her finding them herself and stuff like that. And we really just needed the money. So when I first started this episode out, they only had like 6000 some dollars. Now they have 30000 because we sold those things. One was like 8000 some, one was 9000 some. But Umbreon also got his promotion. And that was the big thing that I was I was pretty sure he was going to get promoted and I wanted to start it right before he came home. So that could be the big thing. But obviously that didn't work. So uh, so yeah, he was promoted to Diamond Agent. He is at the top of the career, so I got the little thing like that. So it just his promotion bumped us up from 6,000 to... Um, like 12,000 because of his bonus and then just what he earned on that shift and everything but now he's going to be making $284 an hour but he only works three days a week but $284 an hour so and how many hours does he actually work he works from 9 a.m to 12 a.m so he doesn't work really long shifts either though Cause that's only- wait. No. No. That's a really long shift. Nine at nine- cause that's nine. That's like 16 hours. Oh. If I had to work a 16 hour work day, I would die. I mean, I'm sh I know there's probably a lot of people out there that do it and- Y'all are some brave souls. <laughs> but that's not for me. <laughs> Working eight hours to nine hours for five days a week in a retail job was enough for me. That was enough to stress me out. <laughs> so he's going to get paid, like, I don't know, a bunch of money. Hold on. I don't have my phone near me. It's actually like way over there charging. Otherwise, I would just bring that up right away and, you know, do the math on it. But now I, I gotta know because I didn't even pay attention to that at first. When I, I was just excited that he got promoted. Who's that? Woohoo! Promotion! Money! I just clicked on something I did not mean to click on. Okay, there we go. So, he's gonna get 284. Not 85. 84 an hour. And he worked 16 hours. Because at first I was thinking, I seen the 9 to 12 and I was like, wait, that's like only like 3 hours? <laughs> but it's AM. So, 
Yeah. So he's going to make $4,544 one day. And he works three days of the week. No wonder they give him five, like, four days off. Woo! So he's going to be bringing 13000 whole, like, more than 13000 home a week, which is good. Yes. I don't even know what Miss Drevis is making. Nowhere near. That's what. <laughs> but she also has her books. So, which, her books came in before when I first started up the family, but I actually didn't start recording it. Whoa. I didn't record it when that first popped up, if I can find it. There they are. So there's her royalty. So she's getting quite a bit, like not a majorly big amount, but she is getting quite a bit of money from those. And now I've actually added four more to that, which was she finished the fourth one and published the last two while I thought I was recording everything. So, but yeah. The big reason why we're trying to save up money though is for Umbreon's aspiration. I know technically now he's a vampire, so he doesn't have the risk of once he gets to an elder, you know, because he won't even get to an elder, but if they get to an elder and they don't have at least one lifetime aspiration finish, it strongly like, decreases their lifespan, which is horrible and sad, and I don't want to. And why is no one giving Kaizen a bath? <laughs> but, um... I still want to finish at least one aspiration for all of my sims in these series and uh, like the Forgotten and the Eevee Family series. So I do want to work on those and Mistrevises and everything. So I do want to try to do this, but we have a long ways to go. I do also need to change because Hal's room has not been changed. So that room needs to be changed, but Hal's actually, the reason why I haven't changed it, he's going to be moving down into the basement because once the toddlers age up, one of the toddlers is going to take that room, and I'm going to edit this room so that two of the rooms are down here and two of the rooms are upstairs. I've already decided that Kaizen is going to be the triplet that goes down in the basement with Hal because I think he's the one who can best handle that, just his personality and stuff that he's already got going on and everything. Why is no one bathing the toddler? Oh, my goodness. Give the toddler a bath. Look at him. <laughs> But I am planning on aging the toddlers up at the towards the end of this episode. So they won't be little toddlers anymore. They hopefully won't be so new cute little nuisances anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I also want to try to find ways to increase the lot like money or whatever, like how much it's worth. So which is going to make the bills go up even higher. So, you know, that's going to be loads fun. But, you know, we'll just have to come get to that as you see. I don't want to destroy anything on the outside. Though I wish I could add some of the season stuff. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's no room left to add any of the season stuff. But, talking about seasons, what also really annoys me is it's still fall. This is actually now the last day of fall when I started it. It was the 27th day. It was snowing though. And I was talking about how I hadn't seen really any, I hadn't seen any screenshots or video footage of Forgotten Hollow affected by the seasons. I know that it did get affected because they went and purposely fixed all the worlds so they would. But I didn't get to, I hadn't really seen how Forgotten Hollow was. Some of the other, a lot of the other ones I have seen pictures, I've seen footage, a lot of them even before uh, seasons came out, but I don't, there may have been like little snippets of Forgotten Hollow here and there, but I can't remember them right away. So I was definitely interested to see, and it was already snowing, it's already, does Hal still have, no he doesn't. He was excited about the first snow. Dance, dance. Wait, is this? There was a new. Yeah, I was gonna say there was a new. Um, I was like, I hadn't heard this song before. <laughs> Go, Mistrevis. <laughs> I hadn't heard the song before on Sims. I know what song it is in real life, but, but I was like, wait, I think a new station was added to um, the music player for season. So, yay! 
Also, everyone's cotton cold outfits probably is going to look really, really stupid because I haven't changed them yet. But also because I'm aging up the toddlers, I don't, I'm just going to do that all at once. So I'm going to have to edit their looks. But can someone feed the t toddlers, please? Like, <laughs> like, Mr. Evis, you can't eat anything, but can you fix them something? Um... What is this? Was this a serving size or was this just a regular grilled cheese? Let one of the toddlers eat one of those. <laughs> the toddlers are hungry. I like how she has this nice kitchen, but it doesn't really get used that much because, you know, especially before Umbreon came through, like before Umbreon came through, it didn't really get fixed at all. <laughs> But I'm gonna have him cook some mac and cheese. I think that's the next best thing for or fruit salad. Let's get a fruit salad. You don't you don't need to eat that. You you don't need to eat that. Put the grilled cheese down, Mistrevis. I'm just gonna let the toddlers come in. Kaizen can have yours. Oh, what is this? Why is this here? <laughs> Kaizen can have your grilled cheese sandwich. Kaizen also, I think, is throwing a hissy fit. <laughs> I think Kaizen's gonna be the triplet out of the three that they're gonna have the most problems with. Just like the personality that I sort of perceive him having and what he actually seems to be having. So, yeah. <laughs> So have fun with him, guys. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm gonna have to do with it too. <laughs> but anyway, look at him run. He's like, woohoo! Food. I didn't know if that was a serving size or just one grilled cheese. So technically, you didn't need to make that anymore. But if you want some fruit salad, go have some fruit salad. Can you not reach the grill? Oh no, he already has the grilled cheese. I don't know where he's going to eat this grilled cheese, but. There he is. He's like, I want to sit here in the corner all by myself. But at least close enough that I know daddy's right there. If I decide I want him. <laughs> and here comes Everett. Nolan's in bed, so Nolan can't get food right now. We're going to leave him sleep. He's going to actually sit near dad. His dad. He's like, yep. But now Umbreon has got up for some reason. What? Where are y'all going? Oh. How's it? Kaizen, what are you doing? Why are you in the corner? <laughs> and Umbreon's going downstairs. And now Mr. Evis is watching Everett. But I'm gonna let Nolan know that, you know, he's about to wake up anyway. If he wakes up early, it's fine. That there's some grilled cheese for him. Oh, he's sad. Sad, sad baby. Oh, wait. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea, Umbreon. Good idea. We need to work on Umbreon's, uh, vampire things, actually, as well, so that's a thing. Clean the lint tray, please. <laughs> no one seems to know how to do that. Okay, talk it, Mr. Reeves. Yo, um, can you train me <laughs> for today so that I can become a better vampire? Cause I keep forgetting that I am one. <laughs> She's too busy dancing. She's like, but I'm dancing. It's like, fine. Only because I love you. Okay, are you practicing? Okay. She's training him. I don't know where the toddlers are and what they're doing. Oh, he's going to bed. He's like, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Okay, that's fine. That's easier for me. Go to bed. Uh... Why are you... He's playful from talking to Kaizen, but Kaizen's like, I am sleepy. I'm leaving my plate here, and I'm going upstairs, and I'm going to sleep. You can clean that up. Everett did the same thing, but... Oh, goodness gracious, child. Something just broke. Something just broke. I don't know what broke. I don't know where, but I heard it breaking. Who's broke? What's broke? 
something's broke. I don't know what, I don't know where, I don't know how, all I know is it is. <laughs> okay, that got us almost $2,000, just her, found it. Nope. <laughs> How was like, I need just a little nap. Nope. How you gotta contribute some, some way. You know, you may have to get a job. But I'm sure you really don't want a job, so I'm trying to be nice to you and not make you get a job. And you just contribute by not making us pay to repair stuff. <laughs> so Umbreon's like, I guess I'll pick this up. Kids don't know how to clean after themselves. Are you still cleaning up? How many plates are you finding? Where are they all stashed at? Oh, you're just gonna set them there? No, you're not. Clean that up. <laughs> no, no, no. You only have one vacation day. I must. I think I used all of y'all's vacation days because of y'all's honeymoon. No vacation for y'all anytime soon. I am glad you're bathing that toddler. Thank you. I did not have to tell y'all this time. That is. So such great humans. Okay. So what I think is going to be... I'm going to try to get up to 35,000. Before the end of the episode. And to determine whether or not... Well, I'm going to age the toddlers up. Because I don't think they need to stay toddlers anymore. But I was really... I really want to get to 35,000 before they age up. Preferably. Technically, today would be a good day to actually age them up, though, because of the fact that Mistrevis and Umbreon both do not work, and Hal also does not have school. Okay. I'm nervous about this, man. Oh, their bars are all the way up. That's so cute. If I want to come up- no. <laughs> no, I don't want to go over. I'm trying to make money right now. Shh! Evie, I'm not doing anything illegal! No one tell Evie. <laughs> Evie would strongly disapprove. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do, though. Yes. It's only $107, but it's something. Um, so let's go back to programming. And will this help? Will this help us make money? I don't think they will. Will this help us make money? I don't really know. <laughs> but what do the toddlers need? He only needs his potty. He only needs his potty. Kaizen, <laughs> Kaizen needs thinking and potty. <laughs> Kaizen doesn't like thinking. <laughs> oh, Kaizen. I'm gonna call it at five. They're having a birthday. Can I just go ahead and add an event for today? Birthday party. I don't care if it's a gold event. Birthday sim is these three, all three of them, and the guests are. Hopefully she knows. Oh, um, that is that is not what you're supposed to be wearing. <laughs> Somehow, Miss Dream, I hate how fast my Sims forget things. Like they forget people. Like, bah. And technically, she should automatically know a lot of his family members because she's met them ten million times. For one. Two, it's his family. <laughs> Especially the close family. And he's close enough to them that she should know them. Also, I feel like when you're... I still feel like if you're planning a party or a... For, like, the weddings, I feel like both the bride and the groom's friends and family should show up on the list. And for, like, birthday parties and house parties and things like that, everyone that the household members know should appear on that list. Not per se that that particular person knows, but, you know, that's, that's just what I think. It should be, it would make my life so much easier. I wouldn't have to try to force every, people to know people before parties. Just, just say it. Select me. I don't even think he can invite all the family. Why can't he- there's Jolteon. I think Vaporeon actually, for some reason her hair is missing, but I did not take any hairs out, so I don't really know what's up with that. Because I think I've seen that she had hair missing. Yeah, she does. <laughs> uh, just for Vaporeon's sake, I'm not going to embarrass her and just say that, you know, she's busy 
and Lynn is with her, so we're not gonna fight him. Um, Ellie, Ellie has some duties to f sustain right now. Where's our mother? <laughs> mother? Oh, hi, mother. <laughs> and our aunt. And, you know, why don't we invite our good friend Tanner here? And we'll be guests. And there you go. Ruby is not in this equation anymore. <laughs> She didn't even show up for Hal's birthday, who is her actual son. These are not your kids, so... Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we'll have a caterer. Hopefully, you know, Vaporeon doesn't randomly show up. Do we We don't need a mixologist. This is Honestly, we don't even need a caterer. Don't worry about a caterer. <laughs> but can I set the time? I need to be able to set the time. So, so I, I don't want them coming until... 6 p.m. Okay, let's try to make 35. 35, get it to 35,000 before 6 p.m. Can we do that, guys? I'm afraid to hack again, but at the same time, that seemed to get the most money. Let's just do this for now and see. I don't, I haven't actually, my phone I can seem dull and drab. Could you write an application that would, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> I don't actually fool around with some of that stuff too much. I usually just have them practice programming until they get straight to where you can make an app and a ga video game. And that's basically it. But I need how to actually get up soon. Put away. Put away. And then have him start potty training the toddlers. Nolan's awake right now, so we'll worry about Nolan first. But first, Hal needs to wake up. Oh, you're gonna go potty train <laughs> Nolan first, even though that's the last thing I told you. To do. Whatever. Oh, did you finish? Oh, that's cute. Where are you going? Back here. Hello? <laughs> Stray of us? <laughs> hey. How you doing? <laughs> I need you to paint some more. <laughs> Also, he's getting the least amount of money, so he's going to have to break away after he finishes that and make the cake for these rowdy three. So we just, what are we going to make? <laughs> what type of cake we're going to make? <laughs> I think we'll just go with the white cake. A hamburger cake or chocolate cake? Let's go with the chocolate cake this time. I feel like I always click away from the chocolate cake because I actually don't like chocolate cake that much. Like full on chocolate. I'd rather like the inside be like yellow cake or the white cake. Oh, <laughs> or red velvet. Mm. Or spice cake. Mmm. What is that? Oh, is he potty trained? <laughs> Hal's like, oh, can you hurry up? I gotta pee myself. I mean, I don't think they're gonna get their potty training up. But I need him to get his thinking up at least. Come on. Can I at least feel successful that I got four out of the five traits on all of them? All the way up. Can we do that? Though his potty training's really close to at least... I think the other two are already on a two. Kaizen, you're behind! Okay, so the birthday party is beginning, but the thing is, um, she's just now putting the cake in the oven. So, um, that's a thing. I thought a guest had already gotten in here, but it was just partly. Um, so the guest should be around. Yep, there's Jolteon. How's it feel, Jolteon? How's it feel to be a grandparent? <laughs> and there's Espeon and uh, and I seen Tanner pop in but he like flew in immediately I like watching the guests come I don't know why and there's Evie hi Evie and everyone's sad for some reason that's cool 
There's Flare around in the distance, but I thought I invited Flare around, so I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I did, and she decided to walk the long way. But there's Glaceon and Leafeon. Sylveon should be popping up. There's Aunt Auntie Eva. And there's Estelle. Hello. The only um, first cousin that will be attending this birthday party this time around. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, why are we listening to this for a toddler's birthday party? Look at little, look at little Kaisen! Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh! Okay, that's just too cute. Look, 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 look at him. Look at him. Look at him! Estelle is such a sweet cousin. Estelle actually probably should be aging up soon, but we're not gonna... I'm gonna have Evie age up before Estelle does, so... <laughs> um... <laughs> but she's being so cute! Oh! 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 Cuteness! Cuteness everywhere! Cuteness everywhere! Little Nolan. It's like, excuse me! Excuse me! Oh. Hello. Mischievous like, hello. How's everyone? Okay, good. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Wait, Mischievous! <laughs> that means that you have finished this cake. Please, please, no one got a slice out of it. Where's it at? Is it in here? Is it in here? Better be in here. I told you to fix a chocolate cake! <laughs> I really did tell her to fix a chocolate cake. Place in the world, please. Oh, wait, I'm on how. Apparently he was gonna go talk to Estelle, or either he was watching Estelle with, um, Kaizen, one of the above. Where is Everett? I've seen Nolan and Kaizen come down here, but... I didn't actually- I meant mystery was to actually get the cake out, but where are you- where, where, where are you taking the cake? How? Where are you taking the cake? There's the other Tyler. Jolteon's with Everett. Where are you seriously taking this cake? Are you seriously taking it to- <laughs> He just- Oh. Hope to pay us- Hey, it put us over that 35,000. Why can't I move this? Okay, I'm gonna have to grab this cake and move it this way, but I think it's hilarious that he's like, I'm just gonna take this whole entire cake and put it in my room. <laughs> Instead of placing it on the mini counter space that is down in the kitchen, he took the whole entire cake. The whole entire cake. In his room. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start. I don't know which order I aged him up last time. But we're just gonna, we're gonna start doing it. So let's help blow out candles. I just, whoever's the first one in line is the who I'm gonna get. Why didn't not, what? How? What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, but go here. <laughs> Some. Why can't I? Why can't I help the toddler out now? Parline, what were you gonna do? <laughs> Why is Parline just randomly? appeared next to the cake. <gasps> Perline was up to something. Can I now help blow out the candles? Everett. So Everett's gonna go first. What were you up to? Sneaky thing. Trying to be sneaky? She's like, what? <laughs> okay, so she should be going to go grab Everett. You stay away from the cake, Missy. How you just 
Yeah, strike the cat. Make sure she doesn't try to eat the cake. Oh. There she goes. There they! Here's the first one. They do have skin details on, so I'm interested to see. They were pretty pale to begin with, I think. So I'm interested to see how it naturally makes them look. So... Okay, so... Everett. Um... I think he's going to be the active. He's going to be the rambunctious one. And he's, he's going to be the active one. So... That's what Everett's looking like right now. Yeah, gonna have to, you know, fix some things. No one touch the cake! No one touches the cake. Espeon has given Everett a gift. Lynn has given Everett a gift. I, I'm glad at least Lynn sent, you know, a gift like, hey, I'm not there, but... I'm sending you a birthday present. So Kaizen, I guess we're just going to say Kaizen's the youngest out of three. He was born last. I don't know if he actually was. He may have been. I don't remember the order they were born in. I feel like Nolan was the first one. And Everett was the second one. And Kaizen was the third one. But I may be wrong. Maybe Everett was the first one. I don't remember. I can go back and watch and figure it out, but... All right, here goes Nolan. Oh, it has turned him into a blonde child. Dear child, you would not be blonde. You're going to be the mental one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, maybe I want to give you. He's a clean, he was clingy. <laughs> There's no point in giving him vegetarian. I mean, what, how would vegetarian affect a vampire? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, we're just gonna say he's good. He's good. But you, you are not meant to be blonde, child. You are looking very cute, though. You are looking very cute. Okay, don't do anything with Kaizen, because you gotta add the birthday candles, and then bring Kaizen to the... Get back, Mistrevis. Play around, don't you dare touch that cake. Okay, you can touch, you can hug the child. I'm not gonna finish saying what I was saying previous, but you can hug the child all you want. Have we added the candles? Can we hurry up and add the candles? That was not made by, why does it say it was made by Ricky? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. Bring guys into. Th I don't know why it's saying. I also thought I made a chocolate cake. So. Oh, there was a chocolate cake. I wonder how long that cake's been in the fridge. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know how long that's been there because I found the chocolate cake. That's okay. That's cool. All right, here goes Kaizen. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't get to see. He's turned back to pale, but I'm not, I didn't want him pale, actually, so. I may have cheated the system a little bit. I'm not making him pale, because I don't think all three of them would be pale. <laughs> I don't think the chances of that happening is very high. But yeah, he's, um, we're not going to be the social one. He's the outgoing one. Should I make him be an insider? Insider or out? We're gonna make him be an insider. But yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> but all three of the toddlers are now children. So yay! One more life stage and they'll be full fledged vampires, and Hal will be the only one who is not. Watch your back, Hal. <laughs> Watch your back. <laughs> Oh, Vaporeon sent Kaizen a gift. Yay. But yeah, so this was the triplets' birthday. I am going to fix up the rooms and fix up their looks because obviously there's no way that 
one is blonde. <laughs> for first off, um, but yeah. So I will be work fixing those before next episode. I will fix their rooms, and I will fix everyone's hot and cold outfits in this household as well. And when we come back, actually, if I just let it play a little bit longer, it will be winter. It'll be officially winter in my main save in the sims game so i don't know who that was who's that i don't know who you are <laughs> oh party's over everyone's leaving bye thank you for coming i feel like the parties don't last long enough like birthday wise because i feel like i have a hard time getting everything done for the birthday and that people don't get to socialize as much as i wish they would or could Bye, everyone! <laughs> Umbreon, you have, like, a really long day ahead. Tomorrow, because you go back you go back to work. And you work for a really long time, so I am sorry. It hasn't done the official change of winter, but it is winter. It is officially winter. I don't know when it's going to do the official music change and everything like that. So I'm just going to speed up time, and I'm going to let things play as they go but yeah i'm gonna try to make some changes to this house somehow to try to get it worth more but i'm gonna wait to see uh exactly how much money i have left after i redo the bedrooms and redo the basement so all that will be done before the next episode and i will give you a tour of how everything looks and it will be fully the first day of winter when we come back so Maybe we'll get to decorating a little bit, maybe? So, you know what? We start standing out in the vampire neighborhood. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, so, anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Eevee family. If so, please hit that lovely like button and subscribe to see future episodes of the Eevee family series, as well as the other Sim series I have going on. If you have any suggestions for any of my Eevee family members, for things for them to do or things that you would like to see let me know down in the comments below or if you just want to chat that's perfectly fine too um all of my social media will be down in the description as well so you can go follow me over on twitter and things like that you you can as well as chat with me over there too but anyway again thank you so much for watching i'll see you next one bye bye